In ETM 1120, we only use the riving knife to make cuts for the glue block. Um, all other cuts, such as the apron, which is two inches, uh, we can use with the standard guard in place. The standard guard helps in dust collection and has anti-kickback fingers. So for anything over an inch and a half, such as the two inch apron, the standard guard will allow for us to use the push block to push the stock through as we cut. For narrow cuts, such as with the glue block, if I tried to set the fence up to three quarters of an inch, I would have no space to push through with the push block, so I have to use the riving knife. The riving knife is located on the side of every machine. Your first step when installing the riving knife is first to turn off the machine to ensure it's in the off position on the large red toggle on the side. Next, we're going to remove the throw plate. Some of these have them little metal handle here. After that, we're going to lift the silver handle down in the throat of the saw. So there's a silver handle we're going to lift up. We can uninstall the original guard, place it on the side of the machine. Do not place it anywhere else, it'll get lost. Take the riving knife drop it in place, lower the little silver handle, and then shut this little gate on the side to keep the dust collection better. Now we can reinstall the throw plate, make sure it's locked in place, level along the back. It can be picked up where it's got a lip in the back, it'll create a ramp, so make sure it's underneath and caught in place. Now you can set the saw up and make three quarter inch cuts. And you can use your push stick to go all the way through. When you're using the riving knife, you must let your instructor know, um, I must be present when you're making the cut and I must be present when you switch it out.